Dave writes, and he says, Paul, now that I am a bit older, aren't we all? <laughs> Why, I'm one day older than yesterday. I have <clears throat> more budget to upgrade my hi-fi system. In addition to quality speakers and electronics, the quality of the music files also determines the overall listening experience. Yes, that's, that is true. On your website, I came across systems that support sample rates of 96 kilohertz, 192 kilohertz, 352 kilohertz, or even higher. DSD, 11 megahertz for quad rate. Yeah, I mean, crazy, right? The frequency response of most speakers is limited well below that. So to what extent can a speaker coil physically handle these sampling frequencies? And is there a difference in listening quality between these frequencies? Let's break that down into two parts. First off, Dave, I think there's a little bit of a misunderstanding. When we talk about sample rates of uh, 192 kilohertz, uh, for that matter, CD quality of 44,000 kilohertz, or hertz, which 44.1 kilohertz, those are all well beyond the ability of the humans, uh, we humans, to hear and certainly beyond the ability of most loudspeakers to reproduce them. And that's okay, because those sampling frequencies are never going through the speakers. So the sampling frequency, uh, this is part one, sampling frequencies are digital speak for how quickly we take a snapshot of the changing amplitude of the analog signal. So an analog signal is just a voltage going up and down, faster and slower, taller and smaller, depending on how loud and what frequency is going on. Our ability to digitally capture that is dependent on how fine of a photograph, if you will, we're taking of as that moving analog signal. So if we do it at CD quality, then every 44,000 times a second, we take a snapshot and see where that rising analog voltage is. Snap, snap, and we record it digitally, and then we turn that around and play it back. So what you're actually playing back at a higher sample rate is hopefully the same analog signal that you started with. So high sample rates have everything to do with how we capture the sound, how accurate that capture is, and then what we do with it afterwards to convert it back to analog. But it has nothing to do with trying to pass those high frequencies through the speakers. Okay, does that make sense? The second part of the question, do higher sample rates sound better? Much depends on the quality of your system. If you take the average home audio system, and you play, oh, like uh, an Octave Record that, uh, it, let's say you downloaded some of Octave Records. Uh, we make downloads available from 44.1 all the way up to 4X DSD, which is 11 megahertz. You can take the same song and listen to the two on your system. Well, the average home system, you might hear a little bit of difference. On this system, you'll hear a lot of difference. Much depends on how resolving your system is. And that has been true for the longest time. The better your system, the greater the resolving power of the system, the more you hear those differences. And yes, those differences are major, big, easily identifiable on a highly resolving system, which I am convinced at this my doddering age of 74 years old, <laughs> most people have never, ever heard, even though they say they have. So you find people that, oh, I've listened to some of the most expensive stereo systems in the world. Yeah, great, good. Well, that's nice. Um, at, that's like saying, I've ridden in a Rolls Royce, so I know what a Tesla accelerates like. Mm, yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> Not on my watch, you haven't. So anyway. Uh, be wary of people who say, well, I've got, you know, a, a buddy with the highest end system on the planet. I don't hear any difference. I guarantee you, you come here 
and listen, you'll hear a difference. And it's, it's real. So glad that you're in your older age getting more into hi-fi and good on you. And anything we can do to help, just let us know. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Bye. Thank you.